SpongeBob and the Princess. At the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob was happily pushing a mop across the floor. I'm mop, mop, mopping the crusty floor, he sang to himself. SpongeBob, yelled Mr. Krabs. I'm going to count me beautiful money, said Mr. Krabs. So no visitors, got that? Aye, aye, Mr. Krabs, said SpongeBob, just as a loud truck pulled up outside. Hong Kong. Welcome to the outside of the Krusty Krab. May I help you? SpongeBob shouted to the driver, trying to make himself heard over the noise of the truck. Where's Mr. Krabs? The driver asked. Counting his money so he's not to be disturbed, answered SpongeBob. Maybe I can help you. What? yelled the driver. SpongeBob cupped his hands to his mouth. Maybe I can help you. Tell Mr. Krabs that Princess Napkins will be here tomorrow, said the driver. What? yelled Spongebob. Princess Delivery will be here tomorrow, the driver shouted back. Got it, said Spongebob, giving a big thumbs up. The driver drove off. Hop and clams, said Spongebob. Wait till Squidward hears this. Spongebob burst into the Krusty Krab. Guess what, Squidward? A princess will be here tomorrow! Squidward didn't look up. What princess will be caught dead in this dump? He asked gloomily, but then he brightened. Unless it's Princess Neptuna! It doesn't seem likely, but for once, Spongebob, I believe you! I love royalty! They're so... royal! Spongebob grinned. Oh, I can't wait till Patrick and Sandy and Mrs. Puff and... Squidward shook his head. No, no, don't tell anyone. Real people love their privacy. Squidward figured he had a much better chance of getting Princess Neptuna's autograph if no one else was around. Really? said Spongebob puzzled. I thought princesses loved crowds. Squidward sniffed. You commoner, you know nothing about royalty. Spongebob thought hard. Well, I have to tell Mr. Krabs. No, yelled Squidward. He'll ruin everything. But Squidward, said Spongebob, it's my duty as a Krusty Krab employee. Squidward put his arm around Spongebob. Listen, Spongebob, he said. Would you like me to teach you how to behave around royalty? Spongebob's eyes grew big. You teach me, Squidward? Of course, said Squidward, smiling. Tonight? asked Spongebob, his eyes growing even bigger. Um, okay, said Squidward. At your house? Spongebob's eyes were huge. With snacks? Squidward swallow hard. <laughs> sure, SpongeBob. I'm inviting you to my house for royalty lessons and snacks. Hooray! SpongeBob shouted. I'll be there. It's tomorrow. The princess will be here. In his office, Mr. Krabs heard SpongeBob shouting. Better see what me employees are up to, he said, hurrying over to a picture on the wall. He lifted it and peered through a peephole just in time to hear Spongebob say, Tomorrow the princess will be here! Princess? whispered Mr. Krabs. Princesses are rich, and people love to see them. People who could be my paying customers. All I have to do is let everybody know a princess is coming to the Krusty Krab tomorrow. Hmm... That night, Squidward tried to teach Spongebob how to act properly around a princess. No, no, Spongebob, he scolded. Never giggle when you bow to Princess Neptuna. <laughs> but Squidward, said Spongebob, I can't help it. Patrick looks kind of funny. 
Patrick adjusted his crown. Oh, gee, thanks a lot, SpongeBob, he said. I think I look beautiful. Meanwhile, Mr. Krabs was busy putting up signs all over Bikini Bottom, announcing Princess Neptuna's arrival at the Krusty Krab. He chuckled to himself. <laughs> this ought to bring in the customers, he said. And their money! As SpongeBob approached the Krusty Krab the next morning, he saw almost all of Bikini Bottom waiting outside. Gee, he said, there sure are a lot of people hungry for delicious Krabby Patties today. Just then Squidward showed up. Oh no, he cried. They must all be here to see Princess Neptuna. He angrily turned to SpongeBob. You blabbed to everyone about the princess? No, Squidward, answered SpongeBob. I was over at your house, remember? Squirt scrunched up his face in confusion. Then how did they all find out? Right this way, barked Mr. Krabs. This way to see the princess. Customers with money only. The truck from the day before pulled up. An eager SpongeBob ran over. When will the princess be here? He whispered. The driver scratched his head and gave SpongeBob a blank look. Yesterday you told me to tell Mr. Krabs a princess will be here tomorrow, explained SpongeBob. The, the driver stared at SpongeBob and then started laughing. <laughs> I said the princess delivery will be here tomorrow. You know, Princess Napkins? SpongeBob's mouth dropped open. You mean Princess Neptuna isn't coming? Nope, the driver replied, unloading several boxes onto the ground. But here are your napkins. See ya! SpongeBob stared at the boxes. What good are napkins when I promised everyone a princess? He thought aloud. Spongebob spotted Patrick walking by. Patrick, he said, am I glad to see you. I need you to dress up as the princess again to fool that big crowd of customers. Patrick shook his head. No way, Spongebob. Last night you said I looked funny. Yeah, but, 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 said Spongebob sputtering. No buts about it, said Patrick stubbornly. I'm not going to look ridiculous in front of all those people. And he put on his beanie propeller hat and turned to walk away. But Patrick, Spongebob begged. Who am I going to get to be the princess? Hello, loyal soundtracks from Bikini Bottom, Spongebob called to the crowd. I am your princess. Everyone turned and stared at Spongebob. That's Princess Neptuna? Someone shouted. Of course I am, squeaked Spongebob. Well, it's sure been great to see you. Um, and now if you'll excuse me. That's not Princess Neptuna, said a guy with a very loud voice. That's just some guy dressed up in a princess costume. The crowd murmured angrily. Get him, they yelled. Everyone started a rush towards Spongebob. Before the crowd reached Spongebob, a magnificent boat pulled up. The door opened and a princess climbed out. Hello everyone, she said smiling and waving. I'm Princess Neptuna. Spongebob hoped he could remember the royalty lesson Score had given him. He bowed several times and got down on one knee. Taking her hand in his, Spongebob said, Hello, Princess Neptuna. What brings you to our humble establishment, the Krusty Krab? Well, she answered, I saw the crowd, so I stopped to see what was going on. I just love crowds.
Princess Neptuna signed autographs for everyone, including Squidward. She even tried a Krabby Patty. Mmm. This Krabby Patty is a delicious morsel, SpongeBob, she said. But it's a little messy. SpongeBob brought over a box. How would you like your very own box of princess napkins? He asked. The princess smiled. <laughs> you sure know how to treat a princess, SpongeBob. The end.